<laughs> Hi everybody. I've been sitting here staring at the camera going, I'm not turning it on. <laughs> because that means I have to get my day going. And I want to do like nada. Nothing. I have to go grocery. I have managed to put grocery shopping off for two days. Can't happen anymore. I need food. <laughs> oh, and I need drugs. And they're not recreational. I wish. <laughs> no, I just have been like staring at the camera going, okay, if you don't turn it on, then you don't have to get your day started. Like, yeah, where's the logic behind that? I mean, I woke up. Uh, see, I watched YouTube videos. Um, I just don't want it. Oh, domestic things are just so boring. Oh, so I need to get some, figure out something. I mean, I have breakfast drinks and uh, chocolate, those eclairs I like. And then a friend of mine says I have to look for some something called Gold Bond Bumpy, if I could. She, I mean, I don't have to. Uh, some, some, something cream for bumpy and dry skin. I don't know. Um, her friend Christina told her that it would help her skin, so she doesn't... I don't know. Um, now that it stopped raining, we all have dry skin again. It's like, <laughs> uh, here. Sorry, I had to disappear. Hit my head a few times. Um, uh, serious. No, I mean it's like back to reality. I don't want to go back to reality. Um, I like Back to the Future. That was a good movie, but Back to Reality would not be, not, would not make a good movie. <laughs> As you can tell, I've just, I've just, I think after weed whacking the next day, I decided just to take a slug day. And I mean, it felt really good, but now I have to get back to reality. Tomorrow I have to go babysit. Uh, tomorrow night my daughter um, is doing a Botox party. And apparently make lots of money at a Botox party. And they even tip her. Um, these ladies really like her and I think it's like the third she's done for them. Um, I don't know, maybe it's better to have them come to your house. I don't know. Carly says the ladies have a wonderful time. You know, she just has to explain to them that no, she does not need any cocktails because you really don't want somebody drunk doing your Botox. Can you imagine those ladies? They'd, they'd wake up going, <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm just like, I'm just, oh, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> oh, I'm so pathetic. I think I'm pathetic. Oh, well, I did put the new batteries in my carbon monoxide texter. Since it hasn't had batteries for like, I don't know, four months. Because I kept forgetting to buy batteries. <laughs> oh, it's going to be interesting this far. So, let's see. Can I live on breakfast drink and eclairs? Yeah. As long as I throw the gold bond in for my friend, then that will make her day much, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I have to buy something. Maybe I'll get that eggplant and chicken because I like that so much. You know, I really like that. Plus, it's really good, that Michelangelo stuff. I really like it. I mean, for frozen food, it's like excellent. Maybe I'll get some of that. Let's see. The 
Okay, works. Eggplant. Chicken. Piccata. Like I can spell piccata. Um, plus I need to show you all the stuff I got because I did a shopping um, thing to Walmart. My favorite Walmart on earth. So, well, I gotta go. I don't want to. <sighs> I really just I mean there's just it just domestic life just gets too hard sometimes. It's like so heavy and I make such a big deal out of it when it's just like shut up and go shopping. You know? At my busy Walmart. God. Well, let's see, I don't need coffee. I have another can. Um, Anita found some deal on it, so she sent me home with four cans. Um, it was like for two ninety nine a can, or something. I don't remember where she said she got it, but you know, hey, I love that coffee. I was got look for some K cups though. Let's see, K cups. No, I don't feel like it. See, everything I write down, I just scratch out because I don't like it. Well, we have to go shopping. I need drugs. I, I I seriously need to get some pharmaceuticals. Um at Rite Aid, so we'll go there. I'm not real happy with Rite Aid because they stopped the you know, the NYC problem. No cell, no more. I checked and they said no, 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 no. Um all right. And dishwasher so I brought a back bunch of um, big jars back from Anita so I need to get them they're already in the dishwasher and she sent me two really cool decorative looking jars I'll have to show them to you I have a bunch of stuff just a bunch um, uh, I gotta go I'm serious I'm gonna go I'm gonna go. I just don't want to. to. See, I didn't want to turn on the camera. Now I don't want to turn it off because I have to go shopping. No, I'm going. I'm turning the camera off. Yes, uh, I'm turning it off. Okay. Take a deep breath. Maybe I could just sit here and go back to sleep and you got, you know, and then like just cut the video off when it's long enough. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll turn the camera off. Ah, reality really sucks now. Ah, it's like 93 and dry. I could have stayed at Anita's. Ah, I had to get a bottle of water when I got drugs. I forgot to bring water. <laughs> well, I did it. Dun 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 dun. Oh god. I got some bread. Uh, some cro cr crescent. <laughs> some hamburger. To go with the, um, that Balveda skillet. I love the chili one. I mean, I love it that, what do they call it, chili cheese mac. Then two of the instant potatoes, two turkey pot pies, and then these grillers, the cheddar cheese bacon hamburgers. Chips. And then the Johnsonville better cheddar to go with the croissants. My, I'm going to take some to my granddaughter. She wanted to know if we could have them for dinner tomorrow. My daughter said no. The eclairs, some bananas, and then this is, you know, that rinse you put in your dishwasher in the little thing that opens up. Now this is what my friend wanted, so I'm going to have to tell her to come get it. The ultimate gold bond, rough and bumpy skin. 
some peanut butter, some dishwasher, and my breakfast drink, like always. Huh. It's hot. It's hot. It's wicked. Wicked, wicked hot. I'll rest for a minute and need some coffee, and then I'll show you what all I got, because I came home with, like, a bunch of junk. I mean, look, even here. There's no room for anything. Because Nita sent me home with well plum jelly and choke cherry. Then I got two of these like decorative bottles and a bunch of th the other jars. I'm going to use this one for like my brushes and stuff. I really like it. It's faceted. I really like it. She said I could have. This reminds me of an old sugar jar. I'm going to use it for something. Oh well. I gotta put the groceries away. And then I'll show you the rest. <laughs> I lived. I don't even know where to begin to show you the stuff. Let's see. <sighs> I'm trying to get the kids to throw their baby toys away. So, there are now four puzzles. And they're 100 piece. Um, they were like nothing at Walmart. So it's a farm one and a Christmas one and an Avenger and uh, Spider Man. Silly putty for each of them. And then this is a game that Kai and I love to play, Skip Up. And I couldn't remember what it was till I saw it. And then, I don't know if you guys know about screeching monkeys, but you use them, you hold onto their feet and put your hands in their arms. And you shoot them like a slingshot. And they go, <laughs> make this ungodly noise. So they each got one of those. And this is a whole giant pack of stickers that I need to collect it. All different kinds. Let's see. Oh, let me put this back. Plus, I have to. Ch I need to give me two calendars. I have to change the battery. Be right back. So when we were at that Cracker Barrel restaurant that I showed. This is a checker rug, and you know, and it's three in one because it is like what games do you play on it? Um, you can play tic tac toe or checkers. And look at the pieces, they're so big. I think this is so cool. I bought that for the kids. These two Christmas presents are was from Mima to me, and they're looms for the children to learn how to make stuff on. And the newsprint, a lot of it, because um, Anita, when she packs something, she doesn't use newspaper, she uses newsprint. So I said that I need it. Uh, newsprint, and I just have to cut it in half, it'll be the perfect size. And then <laughs> Anita found <laughs> fireworks are illegal here, but she found this old box. She thinks it was. Um, her husband's and it's got glow snakes uh, I think it's just all snakes let's see glow snakes cobra just you know those smoke snakes that you like see what else is in it that's it so I'm gonna do those with the kids but <laughs> the cute she just found it. Then, let's see, clothes. I don't even remember what I got. Let's see. This is a just a black. I don't know dress. I don't even know if you can see it. It's just a. It has a razor back. It's just a dress, and it was like seven bucks. Then a pair of capris. And they were five dollar Danskin. 
And then I really like this tank top because it's a lot like the one Amanda sent me. Here, let me see if I can get it. Camera goes wild. Hold on. It's got a little pocket. It's just a little high-low. And I don't even know what else I bought. Oh, this dress. Anita really liked it. Hold on while I try to fix, show it to you. It's a waisted dress with this. It's more like a mish, not a um, a lace with you know the underskirt, and it's just a sleeveless dress, and it was nine dollars. Ah, that's what I got. I almost bought. Oh, and Anita gave me a purse. I'm not real crazy about brown purses, but I'll try it. I mean, it works. It's big and roomy. Uh, it's not leather. It's pleather. But it's got a side pocket with a snap on each side. Um, I think it's from Target. With the little zipper. And she said the only bad part is some pen mark there that she got on it. But she said it's too big for her. So, I don't know. So. I think that's everything. The jellies. She sent me home with, uh, I brought cheese home, but that's all gone. I brought those uh, jalapeno cheese curds. And longhorn that she wanted my son to try. And some brown, um, burnt sugar cake for my daughter and my son to try. I guess my granddaughter too. So, and, and I have a cooler I need to give back because I brought that home in a cooler. But, it's not like she, I won't see her again. Well, that's about it. I really like this dress. She picked it out and it, it looks really nice. Um, it wouldn't have been one I would have bought. But I think that's all the stuff I brought. <laughs> it's enough. Because I bought strawberry jelly home for my my uh, granddaughter. And um, their Christmas presents. Because, you know, remember with the separation, she never did come down for Christmas. So I brought them a whole stack of junk. And strawberry jelly. What else did I bring them? I think I might have brought them cookies. I don't remember now. Huh. Oh, well, that's what I bought. Huh. My friend just came and got the gold bond stuff. I hope it works for her skin. She says she's got bumpy, dry skin. And it's supposed to help. I got dry skin, but I don't have bumpy. Um, uh, except I did get bruised up really bad by the dog. The dog was so glad to see me. And I'm ringing the bell next time instead of just walking in. Because I had my hands full of stuff I was bringing in. And the dog's, yeah. You saw the dog. It's huge. It was, you know, trying to jump up and give me kisses and smack me around several times. It's like... Down, down, down. God, I don't know. So I'm doing uh, laundry and washing my quilt and changing my sheets and oh, I have to turn over, turn, rotate my mattress. God, I hate this. I want a mattress you can turn the friggin' over, but they don't. You rotate them. It's like if you think about the rotation of them, they, you don't get. It's, it's going to get worn out. It's just stupid. I want a mattress you turn over. No, I couldn't find one. You might have one for a zillion dollars. I mean, you can have... No. Like my friend Jules, she had... Her couches are triple or quadruple stuffed with down couches. And oh, they feel good, though. Uh, <laughs> I love them. 
because they would argue over the couch. So when they built their new home, they just got two couches. So there's no argument over couches. I love that. Well, I'm going to make the, the Valveeta Hamburger Helper. It's really funny because I hate Hamburger Helper, but I like this Valveeta. But again, I think putting the cheese in it, mm, 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 it makes it creamy. So I'm just going to do that. I've loaded the dishwasher. I think I've jammed everything I can in it. Because I want to get those jars clean. They're, um, I don't know. They're bigger than a quart jar. Like, you know, like when I open, like I make pasta salad. I always have like half a box. I'm going to use them. I've got, you know, sacks full of pasta and I'd rather put them in jars. And, um, uh, okay, I've had enough of reality. I'll remind me to tell you, I found a great degreaser because the, um, my cupboards aren't sealed. I have not sealed them. I put, um, liquid gold on them. If I take a degreaser to them, I found the greatest degreaser. It's like some industrial something. I bought it at, um, Home Depot and it really works good. Well, I think that's it for me because I'm just going to rotate my mattress. You can see I'm real happy about that. Not uh, Put some clean sheets on, dry my quilt and um, gonna watch some TV. See what am I watching? Oh I started The Astronaut's Wife the astronauts wife wives or the astronauts wife club whatever you get what I'm watching excellent I really like it I really really like it because you know I just really like it um see what else am I watching I watched run a rumble it's over that's the show in Australia and the couple I liked won, so I'm like, yay! So I have um, house rules to finish. And I had started watching this program called Mr. Robot. I've only watched one episode. I don't know if there's any more to watch, but I really liked it. Really, really liked it. So, let's see. Oh, oh, I need to catch up on the Real Housewives of New York because I haven't been watching them. Oh, shame on me, shame on me. Oh, and The Bachelorette. If you've been watching it, can it become any more of a wreck? It is a wreck. They can't even get through half of an episode without it being a wreck over something. And I never did, I do not believe there were actually two bachelorettes. I think that the chick that is the bachelorette was the bachelorette. I think the other one, because right after she got boated off the island, this guy walked off and they've been hanging out ever since. I'm not sure about that, but... I have never seen a bachelor or bachelorette as such a wreck. There is a wreck every show. So if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's good. Seriously, it's like each every time I watch an episode, I think it's the seventh episode. And, you know, it's like even, you know, when I got back, I watched it. And it's like, how, I, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? So, <laughs> um, I gotta go because I'm just gonna start a giant laughing fit over the Bachelorette because it is such a wreck. Well, I love you guys. You know that. Thanks for to my new subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't because it just. Hey, I'm, I'm almost to 200. My goal is 200. Yay! I want 200 subscribers. Hey, I, you know, I don't think big. I think small. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.